Welcome to the land of pizza, pasta, and picturesque views. Italy is a country filled with rich culture, history, and diverse landscapes. Today we'll be exploring the beauty of the South and all that it has to offer. The South of Italy is home to some of the most breathtaking scenery in the world. From the iconic Amalfi Coast to the charming villages of Puglia, it's a region that's not to be missed. But it's not just the scenery that's beautiful. The south of Italy is also known for its delicious cuisine. The fertile soil and Mediterranean climate make it the perfect place to grow fresh produce, which is why the food here is so delicious and authentic. Whether you're enjoying a traditional margarita pizza in Naples or savoring homemade pasta in Bari, every bite is a taste of Italy's history and culture. But it's not just about the food. The south of Italy is also home to vibrant markets, bustling with locals selling everything from fresh fish to handcrafted ceramics. It's a place where you can truly immerse yourself in the local culture. And let's not forget about the beaches. With crystal clear water and stunning coastlines, the south of Italy is the perfect place to unwind and soak up the sun. So if you're looking for an unforgettable travel experience, come and explore the beauty of the south of Italy. You won't be disappointed. Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will take you to the south of Italy, the paradise for all of you who love wonderful beaches and crystal clear waters. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon. Number 1. Pompeii Pompeii was a bustling city in ancient Rome, with a population of around 20,000 people. It was known for its thriving economy, beautiful architecture, and lively cultural scene. The heart of the city was the Forum, a public square where political and social gatherings took place. It was surrounded by important buildings, such as the Temple of Jupiter, which was the largest temple in Pompeii. Pompeii was also known for its beautiful frescoes, which adorned the walls of homes and public buildings. These paintings depicted everything from everyday life to scenes from Greek mythology. But as we know, Pompeii was destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, which buried the city in volcanic ash and pumice. It wasn't until the 18th century that Pompeii was rediscovered, and the city's ruins were slowly unearthed. Today, Pompeii is one of the most important archaeological sites in the world. It's a time capsule of ancient Roman life, offering us a glimpse into a world that's long gone. One of the most impressive buildings in Pompeii is the amphitheater, which could seat up to 20,000 spectators, it was used for gladiatorial games, wild animal hunts, and other public spectacles. Another famous building in Pompeii is the House of the Fawn, a grand villa that was one of the largest and most luxurious homes in the city. It's named after the statue of a dancing fawn that was found in the house. Number 2. Ravello It is a charming town situated high above the Amalfi coast of Italy. This picturesque town is renowned for its peaceful atmosphere, breathtaking views, and unique cultural heritage. Ravello's charming streets are lined with medieval buildings, ancient churches, and hidden alleys waiting to be discovered. The town's architecture is a fascinating blend of different styles, reflecting the influence of the various cultures that have inhabited this area throughout history. One of the most iconic landmarks in Ravello is Villa Rufolo, a 13th-century palace perched on a cliff overlooking the sea. The villa's stunning gardens are renowned for their panoramic views, exotic plants, and vibrant colors. The Terrace of Infinity is one of the highlights of the villa, offering sweeping views of the coast that stretch as far as the eye can see. It's no wonder that Villa Ruffalo has inspired many artists and writers over the centuries, including the famous composer Richard Wagner. Another must-see landmark in Ravello is Villa Simbrone, an 11th-century villa surrounded by beautiful gardens and a lush forest. The villa's architecture is a masterpiece of medieval and Renaissance styles, with its impressive cloister and intricate details. The villa's gardens are equally impressive, with their fountains, sculptures, and rare plants. The Terrace of Infinity in Villa Simbrone is just as stunning as the one in Villa Ruffalo, offering panoramic views of the coast and the mountains that will take your breath away. Ravello is also famous for its cultural heritage, with many festivals, concerts, and events taking place throughout the year. 
The town's cathedral, dedicated to St. Pantaleon, is an impressive example of Romanesque architecture, while the ancient churches of Santa Maria, Agradio, and San Giovanni del Toro are also worth a visit. Number 3. Ischia. It is a stunning island located in the Bay of Naples, off the coast of Italy. With its crystal clear waters, picturesque landscapes, and natural thermal spas, Ischia is a true paradise for those seeking relaxation, natural beauty, and cultural heritage. Ischia is famous for its dramatic coastline, with rocky cliffs, hidden coves, and sandy beaches that offer endless opportunities for swimming, sunbathing, and exploring. The island's natural beauty is further enhanced by its lush vegetation, with citrus groves, vineyards, and gardens dotted across the landscape. But Ischia's true claim to fame is its thermal spas, which are among the best in Europe. The island's natural volcanic activity has created a network of hot springs, mud baths, and thermal pools that are renowned for their healing properties and rejuvenating effects. Ischia also boasts a rich cultural heritage, with many historic sites and landmarks to explore. The Castello Aragonese is one of the island's most iconic landmarks, a medieval castle perched on a rocky islet that has been inhabited for over 2,000 years. The island's churches and shrines, such as the Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta and the Sanctuary of Santa Restituta, offer a glimpse into Ischia's religious traditions and artistic legacy. And of course, no trip to Ischia would be complete without indulging in the island's delicious food and wine. Ischia is renowned for its fresh seafood, homemade pasta, and local wines, which can be enjoyed in the island's many restaurants and cafes. Number 4. Procida. It is a charming island in the Bay of Naples that is often overshadowed by its larger and more famous neighbors, Capri and Ischia. But what Procida lacks in size, it more than makes up for in character, with its vibrant colors, unique architecture, and laid-back vibe. Procida is famous for its colorful houses, which create a stunning and picturesque setting for visitors. The houses are painted in vibrant shades of pink, yellow, blue, and green, and many of them feature intricate balconies and terraces that overlook the sea. But Procida's beauty is not limited to its houses. The island is also famous for its narrow streets and alleys, which are lined with shops, cafes, and restaurants that offer a taste of local life. As you wander through the streets, you'll discover hidden courtyards, beautiful squares, and stunning views of the sea. Procida also boasts some of the most beautiful beaches in the Bay of Naples, with crystal clear waters and a relaxed atmosphere that is perfect for swimming, sunbathing, and soaking up the sun. The island's coastline is dotted with picturesque coves and bays, and there are plenty of opportunities for boating and exploring. Number 5. Capri. It is one of the most beautiful islands in the world, located in the Bay of Naples off the coast of Italy. With its crystal clear blue waters, dramatic cliffs, and charming towns, Capri is a paradise for those seeking natural beauty and relaxation. Capri's coastline is simply breathtaking, with towering cliffs that rise up from the sea and hidden coves that are perfect for swimming and snorkeling. The island's most famous natural attraction is the Blue Grotto, a sea cave that is illuminated by a magical blue light that reflects off the water. Capri is also home to several charming towns and villages, each with its own unique character and atmosphere. The town of Capri is the island's main hub, with elegant boutiques, lively cafes, and stunning views of the sea. The village of Anna Capri is a quieter and more laid-back alternative, with picturesque streets and stunning gardens. Capri also boasts a rich cultural heritage, with many historic sites and landmarks to explore. The Villa Jovis, the former residence of Emperor Tiberius, offers a glimpse into the island's Roman past. The Certosa di San Giacomo, a former monastery that is now a museum, showcases the island's art and architecture from the medieval period to the present day. And let's not forget about the food and wine. Capri is renowned for its fresh seafood, 
homemade pasta and local wines, which can be enjoyed in the island's many restaurants and cafes. And for those with a sweet tooth, Capri's famous limoncello liqueur is a must try. Number 6. Matera. The city is one of the most unique and fascinating in Italy. With its ancient cave dwellings, rich history, and stunning architecture, Matera is a true gem of the Mediterranean. The heart of Matera is the Sassi, a network of ancient cave dwellings that date back to the Paleolithic era. Carved into the side of a rocky ravine, the Sassi are a stunning example of human ingenuity and adaptability. For centuries, the Sassi were home to a thriving community of farmers and artisans who built their homes, churches, and workshops into the natural rock formations. Matera is also a city with a rich cultural heritage, with many historic sites and landmarks to explore. The city's two main districts, the Sasso Barisano and the Sasso Caveoso, are home to many beautiful churches, including the Cathedral of Matera and the Church of San Pietro Barisano. And for those interested in art and architecture, Matera's Palombaro Lungo and the Rupestrian churches of Matera are a must-see. And let's not forget about the food and wine. Matera is renowned for its delicious regional cuisine, which features fresh ingredients and traditional recipes passed down through generations. The city's famous bread, made with local durum wheat and baked in ancient ovens, is a must-try. And for those who enjoy a good glass of wine, Matera's Aglianico del Vulture is one of Italy's most celebrated red wines. Number 7. Ostuni. Welcome to Ostuni, also known as the White City, for its dazzling whitewashed buildings and narrow winding streets. Located in the region of Puglia in southern Italy, Ostuni is a city like no other. At the heart of Ostuni is its historic center, a labyrinth of winding streets and alleys lined with white houses and adorned with brightly colored flowers. The city's many churches, including the Gothic-style Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta and the 15th-century Church of San Francesco, are some of the most beautiful in the region. But what truly sets Ostuni apart are its stunning views. Perched on a hill overlooking the Adriatic Sea, the city offers breathtaking vistas of the surrounding countryside and coastline. The Piazza della Liberta, with its sweeping views of the sea, is one of the best spots to take it all in. And of course, no visit to Ostuni is complete without indulging in the local cuisine. Puglian cuisine is known for its fresh, simple ingredients, and Ostuni's restaurants offer some of the best dishes around. From creamy burrata cheese to tender grilled octopus, there's something for every palate. Number 8. Scylla. It is a stunning seaside town located in the Calabria region of southern Italy. With its crystal clear waters, colorful houses, and rich history, Scylla is a hidden gem that's not to be missed. At the heart of Scylla is its main beach, a long stretch of golden sand that's perfect for sunbathing, swimming, and relaxing. The clear waters of the Tyrrhenian Sea are perfect for snorkeling and diving, and there are plenty of local outfitters that can provide equipment and guidance for exploring the underwater world. But Scylla is more than just a beach town. Its historic center, known as Kianalea, is a maze of narrow streets and alleys lined with colorful houses and charming restaurants. The area was once a fishing village, and you can still see the traditional boats moored along the waterfront. For history buffs, Scylla's Castle Ruffo is a must-visit. Built in the 16th century, the castle offers stunning views of the town and the sea, as well as a glimpse into the region's rich history. And of course, no visit to Scylla is complete without indulging in the local cuisine. With its abundance of fresh seafood and locally grown produce, Calabrian cuisine is some of the best in Italy. From the classic swordfish dish, 
pesque spada a la guillota, to the spicy anduja sausage, there's something for every palate. Number 9. Agrigento. This beautiful city is located in the heart of Sicily, home to some of the most impressive ancient Greek ruins in the world, including the stunning Temple of Concordia. Agrigento is a must-see destination for anyone interested in history, culture, and architecture. The Valley of the Temples, located just outside of the city, is home to a collection of ancient Greek ruins that have been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The temples, including the Temple of Concordia, the Temple of Zeus, and the Temple of Hera, are some of the best preserved examples of ancient Greek architecture in the world. Walking among the ruins, you can't help but be transported back in time to the golden age of Greek civilization. But Agrigento is more than just a collection of ancient ruins. The city itself is a charming and vibrant place, with a rich history and culture all its own. The historic center of the city is home to many beautiful churches and buildings, including the Cathedral of San Gerlando and the Church of Santa Maria dei Greci. And for those interested in local culture, the city's museums, including the Regional Archaeological Museum of Agrigento and the Luigi Pirandello House Museum, are a must-visit. Number 10. Taormina. And here is Taormina, one of the most beautiful towns in all of Italy. Located on the east coast of Sicily, Taormina is known for its stunning vistas, historic buildings, and world-class dining. At the heart of Taormina is its ancient Greek theater, built in the 3rd century BC. The theater is still in use today and hosts concerts, plays, and other performances throughout the year. The theater's stunning views of the sea and Mount Etna make it one of the most breathtaking venues in the world. The town's main thoroughfare, Corso Umberto, is a shopper's paradise. Lined with boutiques, cafes, and gelaterias, the street is the perfect place to while away an afternoon. From high-end fashion to handmade ceramics, there's something for every taste and budget. But Tormina isn't just about history and shopping. The town is home to some of the most stunning beaches in all of Italy. Isola Bella, a small island just off the coast, is a must-visit destination. The crystal clear waters are perfect for swimming, snorkeling, and paddleboarding. And of course, no visit to Tarmina is complete without indulging in the local cuisine. From traditional Sicilian seafood dishes like spaghetti alle vongole to sweet treats like cannoli, the food in Tarmina is not to be missed. So there you have it, the best places to visit in southern Italy. From the stunning beaches of Ischia and Scylla to the historic towns of Ostuni and Matera, the region has something for everyone. Don't forget to visit the ancient Greek temples in Agrigento and the breathtaking views from Ravello's Villa Rufolo and Villa Simbrone. And of course, no visit to southern Italy is complete without exploring the charming town of Tormina. So start planning your trip now and get ready for an unforgettable journey through one of the most beautiful areas in all of Italy. Thanks for watching.